Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'll be showing you how to use the Python Ideal interface on a Mac OS. If you're new to Python or coding, this video is for you. So first you need to download Python on your computer. So for that you go on your browser and you type in Python. Go on the Python website and download the latest version of Python. This step should take four to five minutes just to install Python on your computer. Make sure to agree with the terms and condition and then you can go ahead and install. Once Python is installed, you will see these two icons on your computer. Then you can press idle and it will open the idle shell. This is an interactive platform, meaning that you can write Python code and will be immediately interpreted. So let's try to print hello world and there you go it is immediately interpreted so this is great when you are testing lines of codes and you're learning how python statements execute so we can try with a variable There you go. When you want to write longer programs, you need to have another file where you can uh, write down your program. So for that, you go on file, you open a new file, and then you have a new screen that appears. This screen is different. You can write down longer code and it is not immediately executed like this one. So we can try to write down a program this is my first Python program and you can put a variable hello name and you can go ahead and save it as there you have your folder so make sure you put it in the folder that you will remember and a title for your document when you are writing python the extension for your file should always be .py and save it then you can go and run module so this should restart your idle shell and display your Python program. And if you want to modify and write down more code, let's put the two variables together, save, run there you go so this is how you use the idle shell i hope that this video helped is if it did help please like this video and thank you so much for watching see you next time bye